Hi, I'm Misha Barton, and today I'm gonna look back at some of my best Naughties looks for the Sunday Times style. So first we have the Billboard Music Awards. I wish I could remember what I was wearing out of some of the more tragic early Naughties things. I feel like this isn't that bad. The hair is a little bit early Naughties and makeup. But other than that, I really like this look. I think it's a great dress. I'm tall, so I tend not to wear super high heels. So this one I think is a nice look. Looks like I had fun. <laughs> wow, so this is the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards in 2004. This, this wouldn't have been styled. I would have, I would have picked this genius outfit out myself. <laughs> this is very reminiscent of the early noughties. The sequins, the cut of this thing, it was always like these dresses and skirts, like over jeans and layerings. I think I probably felt like I was very dressed up, <laughs> which is kind of sad in retrospect. <laughs> Oh, I know what this is. This is the Vanity Fair Oscars after party. 2004. I was in love with this dress. Like, I wanted it more than anything in the world. And these were the matching um, the boots that went with it. It was the full look from the runway. We're just so dressed up at these events that it's kind of like weirdly timeless. Like, but yeah, you can see Lindsay's in this photo. I remember they asked us to take a photo together on this night. And that's how this photo happened. It's not like we went to this together. But it's a cute photo. Marc Jacobs Fashion Show 2005. This will be in New York. I probably hopped off a plane to Fashion Week and just threw on my own clothes. The whole ripped jeans and skinny ripped jeans with the like layering of different sizes. That's very, very reminiscent of the early noughties. Oh, I used to be obsessed with these Hermes bracelets, which is so cute. That's funny. I loved that bracelet. But that was also very much of the time, like necklaces and stuff, like too much stuff. I probably wouldn't wear this now, no. Just because it's young. There's nothing particularly wrong with it, but it's just very, very juvenile. Teen Vogue Young Hollywood Party in 2006. I do remember I really liked this dress, and I don't think it's a big designer. I loved um, working with Teen Vogue and getting styled by them when I was younger, because I felt like they always had really cool clothes, and I would try to leave their shoots with like half the clothes. I'd be like, I love this, can I have it? <laughs> So, this is probably one of those things. <laughs> ah, Zach Posen. Vanity Fair Oscar Party 2005. Zach and I were good friends, and I'm pretty sure he like either designed this for me or we went through multiple fittings to get this right. And it's a really pretty one. I love the gold. And this is something that I would still say is cool to wear. Maybe not I would wear it anymore, but somebody would. You've chosen some like kind of good looks, actually. This is not the worst of the naughties, I feel like. <laughs> All right, well now, I, I spoke too soon. Here we go. Oh, those YSL shoes, God bless them. They really look outdated now, don't they? I loved them. These are like YSL wedges with the gold wedge and they were really cool at the time. And that, you could may as well get at a thrift shop. You could get that anywhere, this dress. And I think that's a Missoni head wrap, which I really loved so I probably felt like I was dressing up. <laughs> okay, so these are OC looks, like early seasons probably. These sandals were all the rage, like these bejeweled sandals that you would get, and I think some, I even had ones where you could like swap out the jewels and stuff, like you could take them off and like put different ones on depending on your outfit, so those were cool, they should bring those back. And then this one, well, this is very Marissa Cooper. This you could probably buy today at like forever, like 21 or something for no money. It's very like beach girl, like party girl, party beach girl. <laughs> Yeah, I think some of the stuff that I probably don't think needs to come back would be like the really low slung jeans or anything that was like very bedazzled. You know, there was just a lot of stuff with it. a lot of rhinestones on bums and like different. And also I don't think we need like dresses over jeans again with the scarves and the too many accessories. I think those would be the things I would say goodbye to. And yes, the fake tan <laughs> and fake anything really. <laughs>